Uh, so yeah, this is the uh, this is the Do two two eight. Got a subscribe. There we go. It's working. The Do two two eight by Carinado. Uh, I just picked this up last night. This was a stream uh, donation goal, and um, a couple of you uh, chipped in on uh, getting this plane for me. I really appreciate that. And uh, yeah, you got the new sub icon. There you go. You got the uh, the attitude indicator, right? Well, on your way to the globe. So this is a paint uh, that I picked up off of the org called D Jump. I don't know if they do. I think they do um, parachute jumping out of this plane in in Germany. The 228 you bought at 3M2 made me a, enough cash to build this from scratch for two lot FBOs in two months. Great FSE aircraft. Oh, so I bought it from you. Okay, cool. But didn't you also submit the gateway scenery for 3 Mike 2? I think I saw your name on the this airport. So I'm so yeah, thank you for selling the D, the DO228. Uh it was a good price. We played about 1.4 million for it. Uh Snack Air went in debt again. Uh we borrowed 1.4 so hey, Soldat creates here. Hello, Soldat. Thank you. Soldat's been working on some graphics for me, for both uh, the John Fly channel and also the uh, GSA uh, team page. Uh, so if you guys are looking for any artwork to be done, uh, Soldat Create can give you a quote. I bet. So yeah. Can anyone recommend which Embraer for X-Plane is better? I don't have the X-Crafts. Uh, Kay is here. Hello, Jessica. I don't have the X-Crafts, so I can't really comment. Um, I have the SSG, and I think it's a great plane. So the texture work in this DO228 is, you know, Carinado always does a, a great job with aesthetics. It just looks really good. I like the scratches on the uh, the surface of the back panel. The gauges look very three dimensional. You got some wear and tear on the yoke. Um, this plane you can use with the uh, GNS five thirty or the GTN seven fifty. I think we'll probably go with the GTN seven fifty. I think, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think I can turn, see, yeah, see how it says Reality XP GTN 750? Now it's the GTN 750 right there, so that's cool. Yeah, GTN 750 for life, that's right. I think I may need to go up to the plugins and go to Reality XP GTN. No, looks like that's all good, so that might be all good. Why in that view is my plane moving? I don't know. See how they, it's moving? That's weird. Okay, a uh, couple of nuances with this plane. Um, it, there was a time where I tried to do it off of a, just the abbreviated checklist. And whenever I started the, this was last night and just a little bit of testing. Whenever I started the first engine, it, this torque just bounced around, bounced around, bounced around. It was really interesting. Anyway, after a reboot and moving over to the X checklist, uh, I was able to get it working. So hopefully this morning it works as well. I'm going to remove the static elements, which remove the chocks here. So we'll come over here to options and we're going to get rid of the window reflections, instrument reflections and static elements. Let's take a look at the pilot door, the nose baggage door, passenger door, passenger door, baggage door. Just get a look here. Ooh, I like it. Load up them golf clubs.
Yeah, now, yeah, exactly. Convince you to buy this plane, yeah. Well, that's that's the whole point of today is trying... I, the, the motto of the John Fly stream, the John Fly channel, the motto is to dent wallets uh, worldwide. You got to dent the world wallets. I do need to have... I need. I do need to get a snack air livery. Did we ever... In my vague recollection, it seems like someone did do a Dornier 228 livery for snack air. But maybe I'm wrong. And maybe we do need one. Do you guys recall seeing anything? If we do, I have to, I'm going to have to download it. All right, we'll close up the doors. Close up the passenger door. Lots of storage. Pilot door going closed. You like the Dutch Coast Guard one? Oh, do you do you own this plane then, Soldat? Or are you just talking about on the website? Or have you seen it elsewhere? Because I, I... Yeah. All right. Uh, what else here? We got... Where's your autopilot? You saw it on the website? Okay. I've been taking my sweet time trying to get this going. Trying to purchase this plane. And and now we're here. I'm going to go up to X checklist. And I'm going to open the checklist uh, before starting engines. Okay, so it's... We're going to follow this X checklist and see how it goes. Adam's Flight Sim, good morning. All right, let's come up to the top here. And I'm going to turn on the batteries left and right you know what I don't have any sound let me make sure that uh huh that's weird I've got no sound We got some technical troubleshooting to do this morning. I, f I get the feeling that several people, myself included, are about to buy this plane. Yeah, I, I I think that, yes, again, I might affect a few wallets. Oh, that's a problem. Okay, let's see. Elgato sound capture. Test one, two. Sounds about as usual. Yeah, I think you're right. Okay, that's there. Maybe that change that we made earlier affected things. Let's go back over to OBS and we're going to change the audio output mode to direct sound. That's it. So now we should see here some things. Rob's here. I'm interested in knowing if it's possible to get the DA62 and FSE. Uh, it's been requested to put the DA62 and FS economy, but um, the the board people who were responding on the forum request weren't weren't exactly 100% in favor. I, I guess some people maybe were a little bit strong in their presentation of asking for it, possibly. All right, battery on, battery two. That's good. Let's turn the master on. On. Volt meter. 24V minimum. Yep, we got 24 Cockpit. volts. Cabin. Exit lights. We're going to move this over just a tad here. So we got cockpit lights on full. And we got 
cockpit lights on, and we also have exit lights on. On. Insta panel lights. Thank you, Garg, for the host. Passionate is the term you would use. Yeah, that's that's true. Yeah, it yeah. Finally had time to bring your Seneca up to the States last night. Nice, nice. Hey El Gargantuan, good morning. I enjoyed your stream yesterday. I was doing a lot of uh a lot of lurking as you were flying the dash around, so and the opening song for today's stream was because of you. Well, it wasn't the song because of you. It was because I heard the song. Uh, we All Die Young by Steel Dragon on your stream last night. So I, I was in the mood to, to do a repeat of that and play it this morning. Okay, instrument panel lights. Let's uh, scroll that up. As required. Landing gear lights. Landing gear lights. Checked. Checked. Fire warning. Fire warning. Uh, I'm not even sure how to do the fire warning. I guess you'd... Well, I'm going to have to read up on that. Maybe you guys know. Checked. Engine instruments. Engine instruments checked. Checked. Fuel quantity. Fuel quantity once we load FS economy is going to be uh, full, 100% full, because this is just a ferry flight. Love that movie in the band. St yeah, Steel Dragon, baby. I do love that movie as well. There we go. I'm going to bring up my FS economy as a reminder. Checked. Lamp test button. Uh, the lamp test button also is something that I don't know. where it lo is located. So I'll probably have to come back for that. Some of you guys probably Check. know. Propellers. In start locks. Anti-call. We got uh, Brett San with the host. Kona time is here. Thank you, Brett San, for the host. Why my host alert did not go off, I have no idea. I wonder if it treats a raid different than a host. But uh, good evening, Brett. Hope you're well. Let's see. We got the oh, there's the donation go. My name donation go. We got events list is up. Streamlab alerts is up. Hmm. Maybe it treats the raid different from the host. I don't know. You like the shirt? Yeah. Speaking of other paraphernalia, look at look what JT Kerr made me. Look at this freaking bad boy. This is a it's like a Yeti type mug, but it's it's see through. So you, it's like a, it's like a Wonder Woman. So you could actually see through it on the other side. You know how you see how you can see the plane through through the glass. But like, check out this quality. Yeah, lots of cracking. See, look at the look at the the quality. There's a lot of cracking that can go in there. But like l look at that logo and then look at the Snack Air logo. And this is this is metallic. This is a this is a bad bad mama jamma. And listen to the sound it makes. How cool is that? So the DA, no, the DA62 has more than 50. I guarantee they do. Well, that's wishful thinking. I shouldn't guarantee that. Anyway, these are these are available for sale. Uh, look, go, go look on the Discord. I, I'm not selling them myself. It, it's it's directly from M, uh, MK Powder Inc. So, so pretty cool stuff. Yeah. So I don't know if JT's here, but JT Kerr, thank you for the. Uh, and also, 
the uh, the Snack Air coffee mug came in as well. It was it was delayed, so I got the Snack Air, and of course the uh, the logo, the JF logo. You got yours, Fish Go Blue. Nice, nice. Speaking of coffee. So where's the link for the merch? Uh, the Snack Air shirt and the cup are, aren't for sale any longer. It was just a, it was like a two week campaign. And then we got a new logo cause we got a cease and desist order on this logo. Look, pasties. <laughs> anyway, we, we got a cease and desist on this order from Max Reverse Attorneys. So we went to a new logo, which is on the, on the big new Yeti. And maybe we'll have some new shirts out for that, but I'm not sure yet. In the meantime, these are limited edition. And there's probably a 30, 30 gents out there that are rocking them. So you can resell them on eBay for thousands of dollars if you want to. That's what that's what the rumor on the street is. You're going to do some scenery dev now, Brad? Yeah, I saw you looking at the airport. That's pretty cool. All right, any collision light needs to be on. So let's come up here and turn the any collision on. light on. Cabin signs. Cabin signs, no smoking. Seatbelt signs are on. Bleed air. Need a booth? It, yeah, exactly. I need a booth. I'm going to sell B2 shirts, though. And it's going to say B2. S stream value add right there below it. And I'm serious. All right, bleed air. Uh, let's go down to the bleed air, which is down this way in the pneumatic panel. You think the panel was done by committee? That's very possible. Bleed air off. Boost pumps number two. Boost pumps on. number two. Boost pumps number one. On. Start selector. Start selector on the left side. Let's open the guard. All right, this is the start selector. Sorry, ground. Ground. Engine L starter. Okay, start, and then we'll hold for a moment. Start. Hold moment and close cover. Engine L percent RPM. Let's look at our engine percentage. Stable above 70%. Gen LH. I don't know why my prop's not working. I think I need to lock it in this place. That logo is everywhere just because you put snack air and it doesn't they or they do hot star doesn't make it theirs. <laughs> yeah. No, it's it's Josh J. Gibbs logo though. It was Josh J. Gibbs a, a, a very similar logo. But you're to yeah. Well, the the cool thing about it is when Josh's attorneys contacted me with the 17 page document, they invited me out to steak dinner as well. And so we had the most amazing f uh, Japanese uh, steaks. So, and we all came to the conclusion that you know, the seven figure suit w was not worth the the effort and time that it would cost. So we, we, uh, yeah. We, we negotiated over steak dinner. So. Need to have a T that just says right click or stream hard. Or both. Right click, stream hard. Yeah. I should probably do P3D tomorrow, speaking of right click. There's been a lot of demand for me to... Because right now I've dropped to like P3D 3%. Yeah. Oh yeah, I mean, it, it, Josh giving me Japanese steaks over dinner, and you know, kind of, and and some very very nice wine as well, some nice, some nice red wine. All right, we got the uh, engine start. Let's turn on the generator. Uh, gen on the left side. On. on engine R starter. Back over to the engine starter on the right side. Start. Hold moment and close cover. Engine R percent RPM. 
All right, let's see if it goes above. Yep, there we go. Stable above 70%. Gen RH. Okay, let's turn the gens on. Jay Kraus is here. One of the fine gentlemen who completed the uh, the donation goal for this plane. So thank on. you, John. Good morning. Bat. On. Gen. On. INV. Inverters on. On. GPU. GPU is disconnected. Disconnected. Voltage and ammeter. Voltage and ammeter Check. are checked. Hydraulic. Yeah, it was Kobe steak. Your That's right. Press 210. No. Propeller start locks. All right. So this is the confusing part that a lot of people, myself included, have issue with. Is this? I, I hope I do this correctly, but I think I have to take these propeller locks. I have to hit my reverse. Feeder tanks. And then come back up. And then apparently that unlocks. I think that unlocks. Yes, it does, because now I can move my propeller handles. So wait. Kobe Bryant has a line of stakes. Yes, he does. They're very good. Was there golf involved too? No. No, that's that's for the the next lawsuit. When I take it to the next level, that's when they come in with the round of golf um and I just cave. I, I you you have me at what's our tea time. You know that movie, what's that movie? Um Jerry Maguire, you know? You had me at hello. Well, you have me at what's our tea time. So, you can fly for snack air. Yes, absolutely. I think you were a member once, Adam, and, and all we ask is that you do one flight per 30 days uh, to stay on the active roster. So, But yeah, that would be great. The Kodiak. I'm, in fact, I, I need to fly that Quest Kodiak here pretty soon. Uh, Cypher has a question about how on um, Smart Copilot, how do you fly on VAT Sim without seeing both airplanes? Uh, well, I think, well, on Pilot Edge, we just put an at, one of us l logs in as an at symbol, but I'm not sure how they do it on that, that sim. Settle only for Augusta. That's possible. <laughs> All right, feeder tanks. I have no idea what to do on that. I'm going to turn the sound down just a little bit here. So the question is, do you guys know what to do with the feeder tanks? I don't even know. I'm gonna, I, for those of you who watch this on YouTube after the fact, chime in on the feeder tanks for me. Checked. Pneumatic uh, panel. Pneumatic panels. Let's go ahead and turn on the bleed air. And let's also turn the air conditioning on high. And everything looks good there. We'll go to, well, we'll leave it on automatic. A little bit of cockpit air. A little bit of demist. All right, that looks good. As required. Avionics. avionics. All right, so avionics masters right uh, here. So NWS. That's Checked. no. No Altitude steering. Selector. Let's go up to. Uh, far shot. How you doing? I like how you do have the uh, laminar FMS in here as well. It's kind of handy. Okay. What's next? Altitude selector. Um, okay, so altitude selector, I think, is right there. So we're going to go westbound. So I need to take that up to... Let's try to get to 10,000 feet. Well, we're only going 100 miles. Uh, we'll see what happens. That's set. set. Altimeter. The Snack Air Gulf for Gulch Celebrity Program, the worst cover tournament of the year, for sure. Yeah, please remain silent. I'm, although I'm going to probably turn it on the iPad here in the moment. It's definitely the worst cover tournament. 
You'll, you're still learning the FMC, yeah. Uh, no brainer which to use. Yeah, that's true. Okay, so... What's next here? Altimeter set. Yeah, we got that set. set. Autopilot. Autopilot will be set. Oh, that's kind of handy. So on the autopilot screen, we do have the altitude uh, option here as well. I haven't seen that before in a plane where you have the altitude as a part of the autopilot pop-up. So I do like that. Set and off. One, two, cocktail Taxi testing. Lights. St. Wolfric, how you doing? Taxi lights are on. You just move the landing light Park down break. to taxi. Park brake release. Hmm. This is the scary moment. Release. Flight slash engine instruments. Uh, checked. Oh, we're starting to move. Woo! It's always a success when you can actually taxi. That's a good. Well, I think you. I think it's. I think you can watch quite a bit of the, of the masters right now. In fact, I need to get that up on my iPad. We got a subscribe. We do have a subscribe, Sim dude. Nice plane you have there. We got a Oh, 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 it's going into reverse. Sim dude with the subcribe. Thank you very much for the... We got a subcribe. The loan. Sim dude facilitated the loan of this plane. 1.4 million. He was the one who uh, made it possible for us to acquire. Good morning, John. Thank you for the subscribe. I think we can pay it off this month. But if not, it'll be in, in May. But I, I think we can pay it off. I have I have some faith. What I'm going to grab, though, is uh, I'm going to grab the Masters app on my iPad. Because there's a lot going on right now. Uh, there we go. App Store Masters Tournament. Uh, there's a lot of people that think this bird is quite ugly. I think it's kind of cool looking, but it's probably because it's just not normal. <laughs> and the funny part is, is that this cone up here is, it's like that's a baggage compartment. So it's kind of interesting. Blazing Monk says it looks like a turkey. Yeah. All right, I'm just going to download the Masters app. Taking our sweet time today. Not a problem. Longer the better. There you go. Interest, baby. All right, the Masters app is downloading. So that's good. All right, we're going to back taxi. Yeah, it may look like a turkey, but yeah, it can hold 20 people. Actually, I think more than 20 people. I, isn't it 20? Is it 22? But, tw but I think it's 22, but of course that's only 20 passengers, I think. Or is it 19 passengers? You guys, why does it keep going into reverse? That's interesting. Okay. Bacon leggings here. Top golf Friday night in Vegas? Yes. No, not Friday night, Thursday night. You have to come in Thursday night, I think, for Top Golf. So it's 19 passengers, two pilots. Okay. Thank you. All right, we're going to come up here and then we'll do a back taxi. It reminds you of the MU2, yeah. It also reminds me of a, a bigger, uh, a big Technum P206T, which I haven't flown that plane for a while either. But it's a you know a big Technum. You play golf the other day, 
could tell it was your first round. I need to play golf. In fact, I'm thinking about joining my local men's league again. All right. Now, apparently, you can turn, you can do this 45 degree wheel thing in this plane. There's a, you have to toggle a button, and then it can do sharper turns. But we don't, we don't need it today. I haven't played with it. I was reading, I was reading about it in the manual. You need a fourth monitor now, JF, X-Plane, Navigraph, and the Masters. I'm totally down with you there. In fact, that's what I could do. Why am I going to the iPad? I'm going to do that. Because I just happen to have four screens. So why not we bring... I wish I could show it on stream, you know, just in the corner. I mean, what's the big deal? All right, we're bringing it. So Tiger looking at the win before hitting his third shot here at the second hole. Tiger. All right, we'll have to mute him. So I wish, yeah, I wish I could show it. Just up in the corner, you know, in-flight entertainment. All right, parking brake. I think it's sent, yeah. Yeah, all right. Flight instruments have been checked. Checked. Park brake. On. Strobe lights. Strobe lights. Oh. We got a subscribe. This. Five months, just like how long we have been. Uh, five months in a row, just like how long winter has been. Exactly. This turning on of the strobe lights is brought to you by Rave Wolf. Strobes on. Landing lights. My landing lights are also brought to you by Rave Wolf. NAV lights. And my navigation lights are brought to you by Rave Wolf. Kay is right that we need to log in and start the flight. We might have to alias even. Yeah, we do. Dornier 228. Let's try it now. Flight's been started. Disgruntled sailor, good morning. C206 sent a request to join Snack Air. Oh, I gotta I gotta approve that right now. Oh, here goes Tiger. He's 154 yards out. He's plus five. Here, the ball's coming in. And he's short in the bunker. It's, yeah. This, the, the look of despair on his face. All right, uh, if we come over here to groups and we go to membership snack air. C206 station air accepted back into the fold. Just remember, do one flight a month. One flight every 30 days. Pretty please. Oh, we got another sub crab. We got a sub crab. I'm talking too loud for being a we golf announcer. That's true. We do have another sub crab. Sparrow, 1848 with the sub crab seven months. Thank you. All right, let's try my master's voice. We have Ian Poulter with his pitching wedge. No, he's changing to the lob wedge. The question is, did he remember to turn his bleed air on before he took the shot? This is his third shot. He's on the par five second hole. The Englishman now behind the ball. A little bit of fidget going on. And here is the strike. The ball is up. And the landing rate on the ball is a good 113 feet per minute. All right. Let's see here. Ice and rain protection not needed. Pedo heat turned on. Boost pumps are on. Start selector on air. As required. Pedo heat. Here's a guy with a stick about to hit a tiny white ball around a park. Yeah. 
Steve PHL says, I would be playing at the Masters this year. Just my bad golf got in the way. Yeah, they, they sent me an invite, but I told them I had to stream. So I, I couldn't I couldn't accept the invite. Recheck on. Start selector. Air. Ang limit. Ang limit. Another sub crab going on. You got a sub crab. We got Fish Go Blue coming in with the subby sub. Thank you, Fish Go Blue. We got a sub crab. The cheese pimento stain. Yes, yes, of course. We got a sub crab. You're controlling on your left screen, and I got you and the masters on my right. There you go. Where are you controlling today, Osprey? Homie Life likes the performance. Where are the engine limit? The engine limit. Oh, you know what? I think those are right here. Yes, okay. Engine limits are right here. And they're supposed to be on. I don't know what that does. Do on. you guys know what that does? Bleed air. Bleed on. air. Flaps. Is on. Flaps. Uh, flap set for takeoff. Position one. Trims. Set takeoff. Flight controls. Flight controls. They're free. Check free movement. Doors closed. Doors and windows. Riga closed. tower. Okay, Riga All tower. And caution lights. Nice. All warnings and cautions are out except for the pedal light, which I assume means that it's because we have it turned on. Out. Air conditioning master. Air conditioning master. It says air conditioning master ram air. Oh, it's down here. Ram air. Ang speed levers. Engine speed levers. High. Okay. High. Power levers. Slowly towards max check TQ and ITT. Okay, V2 is V2 at 85. ATS. Okay. Let's do this. No, I haven't programmed the GPS because I'm pretty much going direct. But we can. Flight plan. And we'll zoom in here. We'll add a waypoint. By the way, we're going to Memphis. Actually, maybe we'll... we'll you know what? I'm going to bring this back down. Uh, maybe we will do the, the proper programming here. So let's live the GTN 750 life. So our IFR flight plan, we're going to put in the waypoint exist. E-X-I-S-T. And we're going to hit enter. After exist, we're going to click here. We're going to load the airway. Um... Victor 159, which it automatically selected as the only airway. And we're going to exit at uh, EPRO. ERPO. ERPOW. Yeah, there we go. ERPOW. And then uh, we'll go ahead and load that in. And then we're going to put in Memphis. And enter. And then here we're going to go ahead and load procedures. Uh, we won't do an arrival. We'll do in the, the ILS. It's going to be either 3-6 center or 3-6 left. We'll just do... Should we do the LPV up now? We'll do ILS 3-6 left first. We'll just load the approach there. And we'll pretend that we're squawking 2-6-6-5. Altitude reporting. Yeah. And the other thing we need to do probably is get um, Project Fly going. Do 
I still use this Simstall client? Uh, book, let's see. Bookings. Yeah, fly now. There we go. All right, we're going from Double Springs, Winston County Airport to Memphis. And I am connected to the sim. I think that's how we do it. So maybe the Project Fly overlay will come up. Yep, there it is. All right. Let's move our donation. Go down here. And I'm going to move this up here. The other, there's another pedo on the left side. I didn't know that. So I've got the pedo here. Oh, there's pedo on both sides. Nice, nice, nice. All right, I think we're ready to go. There is no pretend in flight simming. Part of me really wants the GTN 750. Yeah, it's a nice, nice thing. All right, let's do this. Okay, so we're gonna go. Uh, So cool. Should I turn the sounds up for a little bit for takeoff? Oops. All right. There we go. Rotate. Landing gear. One more. How cool are these views? Retract. Flaps. Up above 100 KIAS, above 400 feet AGL. Ang speed levers. Toga, yeah. Okay, engine speed levers high, around 97%. All right, well, let's go down to 97. There's 98 coming down. All right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring up the autopilot. Let's see how this bad boy works. Here we got. Flight directors, I guess on. Nav, autopilot. Uh, yeah, there we go. Yaw damper. Uh, we'll do vertical speed. Let's pull that. And we'll go vertical speed a thousand. And then we're going to arm this select. Yeah, that works out quite well. Who do you think will get the green jacket tomorrow? Oh, it's way too early to tell. Absolutely way too early to tell. Um, I'm going to come down here. And I'm going to say direct to Fogum. Well, actually, no. Yeah, we'll go direct Fogum. So direct... Actually, direct flight plan Fogum activate. We'll just simulate that ATC gave us a direct vector. Sweet. Yeah, it's still it's still too early to say. I would say, but I'll I'll I'll, I'll definitely weigh in tomorrow morning when we have the final you know Sunday leaderboard going in. 
How am I doing with my fantasy picks? Uh, I'm in first place. We can talk about that for sure. Ricky and Jordan will duke it out after a tie. Wouldn't that be nice? I'm telling you right now, uh, one of the guys that I didn't think would do well, Henrik Stenson, is doing really well. And he's never finished higher than 14th at the Masters. So, All right, let's do some checksy checksies here. High around 97% RPM. Synchrophaser. Do you guys know what the synchrophaser is? Pneumatic panel. Pneumatic panel's fine. As required. Ice and rain protection. Ice and rain protection as required. As required. The landing checklist, lights. it's a plug-in. Yeah, it's a, it's a plug-in for sure. All right, landing lights coming off. Off. Cabin signs. Cabin signs, seat belt sign stays on, no smoking's off. <laughs> We're not at cruise yet, though, so I'm not going to do anything with the cabin signs yet. Off. Ang speed levers. Ang speed levers were at 98. We can bring those back just a little bit into the 97 range. 97 plus slash 0.5% RPM. Henrik is your boy, yeah. Synchrophaser. Synchrophaser oh. has something to do Ice with the prop, but you can't remember. Okay. As required. Demisting slider. Oh, demisting slider, not demesting slider. All right. I think we're done with the checklist for right th at the moment. I think the autopilot's working well. Yeah. We're in the climb. I am digging this plane. It's it's Now the question is is do do I rank it in the commercial slash, you know, the commercial area or do I rank it in the GA area when we're talking about uh my rankings? Because this one's going to go high. I, I like it. Is it prop sync? Okay. It's in the center console. Okay. Prop sync. It says it was on. Oh, synchrophaser. Right there. There's your flaps as well. Synchrophaser. Cool. Cooly dooly. We're at 7,300. Your league starts in three weeks, but it's freezing up here. Yeah, mine starts this month. Um, I just don't know if I'm going to join this year or not. I'm trying to, I'm thinking about it. They play on Wednesdays and Thursday nights with the big night being, you know, they're two separate tournaments, but the big night being on, uh, on, uh, Thursday. You're gonna another another plane you have to buy because John Fly likes it. Yeah, and Snack Air will be flying this plane a lot if we can find those jobs that have a lot of passengers. It feels like my flaps are down. I thought I put those up. Huh. Don't they look down? Or that's the elevated ailerons, I mean. Hold on a second. Huh, it won't go any higher than that. Maybe that's normal. Okay. Okay, 8,800, 1,200 feet to go. So, classify this under commercial, Steve? Okay. All right. We got a sub crab. Rudyism. Good morning, John Fly. Happy to see you streaming again. You must really like us. <laughs> Rudyism, fifteen we months in a, a row. Sub crab. The, thank you for the thank you for the tier two sub, Rudyism. That's very appreciated. I appreciate that. 
Uh, yeah, 15 months of great support. I yes, I did. I do like you guys quite a bit. I missed you. We had we had some good times uh, flying in the real world though. But I I do. Uh, it's nice to get back here. Um, and I'm watching the Masters over here, and I'm talking to you guys. Looks like the weather's not all that friendly today. We got umbrellas out. At in Augusta. There's 10,000. And she's leveling off. So we'll go ahead and we'll put the uh, seatbelt signs off. You just looked at some pics online. That aileron slash flap look is normal. Okay. It just looked like they were down a little bit. Major storms over this way today, Karathis. Oh, crappy. I don't like it when there's bad weather. What's the forecast for tomorrow? You know, the weather, the weather really changes it for everyone. There are some players that do really well in bad weather. And then there's some that just don't. It just affects them. Partly cloudy 67 tomorrow. That's not bad. You know, take a Zach Johnson. Zach Do Johnson does pretty well in the uh, in the weather. I've never done I've never done a uh an approach in this plane, so this is this is gonna be interesting. We should be making the turn up here in just a moment. Oh there we go. There's the turn. Yeah, this I do like this plane. I do like this plane. There's something there's something sexy about it being ugly. <laughs> 